y'all it's jessica ray plays and thank you so much for coming back to the channel and today we are doing something totally different not sims related at all the first thing i want to do is give you guys a humongous thank you all so much for your all support it has been freaking amazing and i know we're going to freaking just skyrocket from here on out and thank you guys so much for 900 subscribers well technically it's like 892 but i'm gonna go ahead and do this video and i'm gonna go ahead and put it up because i know it's gonna be happening very very soon so today we are doing a 20 questions with my lovely answers from you guys that you guys have submitted through instagram discord twitter facebook youtube twitch whatever I'm, I'm literally everywhere all of those links are literally down below all you just gotta do is just hit that tab where it says to view more and scroll down and you guys will see it so it's not just gonna be me in this awkward messy bun hair we're gonna be doing something fun as i answer your questions so i went on to amazon and i purchased three wigs that we are going to try on and have some fun with so here they are in all their glory <laughs> we got some fun ones and i did not know i forgot that i got this color and it's literally gonna match my shirt but it's fine we got like this really really fun red one and then we got this fun i don't even know what color this is called oh well so we're gonna do that so <laughs> let's just go ahead and have some fun okay, so which one do we start off with first do we do like an any mini money mo and that's how we go and I'll make sure I leave like all of them up here. So I think all of them was like 20 and below. Like I didn't go like crazy or nothing. This one actually came with, um, oh my gosh, listen to that. You hear that? I didn't know it was going to be ASMR, did you? Okay, that's cool. Yeah, it's like a pantyhose. So how does this go? Um, oh my gosh, show sure what you got to do with like, ugh, like this. Oh my God holy crap so the first question is, is how old are you uh, so this question is one that I have been dreading to answer just because I don't feel like I'm that age so I am 29 years old um, I will be 30 this year I still can't believe that I am approaching that that's like just crazy to me I definitely don't feel it I feel like I've got like the wisdom of like a 80 year old but then like I'm still just so much fun like somebody can dare me to do something and I'll do it I'll try anything I love just to be goofy and have fun so I don't I don't know like it's just it's kind of like fun but what the crap guys what's like, what's this I've never done this like what do you hook you hook this in here is that what that's for like a bra what what the contraptions oh my gosh okay this is like a true true aerial one i don't even know how you do it how do you how does people even do this is this how you do it oh god my head's too big oh this is too small my head's too big or is my bump too big um you guys this this is not working <laughs> where does it go like is it do I need to go over more? Is it <laughs> I don't get it. Am I doing this right? Definitely let me know in the comments down below. Is this how you do it? Okay. Well, alright guys, on a one to ten scale, how do you guys rate me with red hair? Just um go ahead. Rate me down below. Just make just make you all a big list of comments that you guys want to do. Y'all can just have like your own individual comments because I think this would be great. But yeah, here it is. Red. What you think? So, next question is, do I have a job outside of YouTube? And I do. I do have a job outside of YouTube. I work in a hospital. Um, I work on a floor. I guess that's all I really want to say right now. But yeah, I freaking love my job. I love helping people. I would have never expect in a million years that this is what I was going to be doing because I always told my family that I would never be what I am and here I am now. So really what made me do that? It was my birthday and I just turned 25 
and we went by my grandparent my grandfather's house to get him to take us out to eat or take him with us to get something to eat and we found him just knowing that I couldn't be there for him in his last moments Hold on a second. so I couldn't be there for him when he passed away so that really kicked my butt into gear to why is this so hard to do to do more and be more because I never wanted anybody else's family member to go through what I went through I said I wanted to be there for every single family member that was passing away when their family couldn't be there and I wanted to hold their hand and tell them it was okay that you know you're fine you can let go I didn't want anybody else's family member to pass away without somebody by them side or any like just in general like I wanted to be there for everybody and I still to this day remember my first patient that I ever ever lost that was so so difficult um, that was actually really hard they were a DNR DNI so we didn't have to do anything but literally watching somebody's like heartbeat like truly um, decline and then flatline was ridiculous it was so hard I was right there with him the entire time and that's that's where I've been ever since I, I freaking love what I do and I'll never change what I do because I I love it I love making somebody else's day better I love making other people smile I love making their cloudy days full of sunshine um, I like to be their bright brightness um, everybody always says a smile like all the time and that's what I want to do I, I just I want to uplift people and I think that's what everybody should be doing I want to give everybody the best care that I possibly can I don't want anybody to feel excluded so that's why I do what I do we'll get on to the next question because that was a lot that was actually a diversion um, but I wanted to let you guys know just that um, do I have any pets I do not have any pets right now I've had pets before yeah that's about it for that one <laughs> have you dyed your hair oh my gosh have I dyed my hair yes I've dyed my hair I think my hair has been every freaking color you could possibly imagine not really every color but it's been a lot so my hair has been blonde I've been red I've been purple I've also been black I've been brown I think that's about it I don't think I've ever like went out too far but that's like my ones that I've done so far and then what is your ethnicity okay so let me go ahead and tell you guys about that one so if you ask my grandmother she would say we are the definition of a melting pot she says that we are everything combined into a little pot and we have melted <laughs> that's her that's her explanation every time that I ask her where we came from or any of our backgrounds but she did tell me that I think it's her great grandmother or her great great grandmother I don't know I, I don't remember which one it is I can see that her great or her great great grandmother was a full-blooded Cherokee so I know that we do have Cherokee in our blood obviously I don't know how much um, I would love to get one of those ancestry tests sometime and do one of those I think that would be very very interesting I think it'd be kind of interesting to know if what your family tells you is correct based upon my actual DNA so I don't know I think that'll be really interesting to do hopefully maybe I can get one like for my birthday and I'll do like a video on it or something or maybe even like the results or something because I think it's kind of interesting I don't know if you guys want me to do that definitely let me know in the comments down below as well all right now I'll answer one more question before we move on to the next wig and that one is what is your best advice for new youtubers okay so my best advice for new youtubers is literally just to be yourself because people like if you try to like fake it and come on here and be like oh hi I don't even know or something I don't know crazy definitely don't don't change who you are just to get people to come obviously I could sit here and do preppy stuff and be like in your face or something like literally I could be like up in your face and be like really close to you guys but you know um, I'm not all about that so anywho just literally do you find your niche just even do it just dive into it really and just don't stop be consistent with your um, uploads 
that's actually going to be a big factor too. If you're going to have some kind of schedule, just have fun. Really? Don't, don't worry about your views. Don't worry about how many people I'm coming to my channel, this and that. Just be you. Just have fun. Like literally, like when I first started it, this was just a hobby. This was just something to kind of connect with people, to share my story, um, to share my stories, like my LPs. Just dive into it. Just do it. Don't stop. Be consistent. You don't have to have fancy equipment to do it. Uh, my mic that I have is literally what I've had since I've started. I have not switched. I think it was just like 40 bucks. I didn't get my cam until I think like maybe three, four months ago. And then the ring light behind it, it's not a humongous ring light like the people you see on YouTube do. It's literally like the size of this. Like it's really, really small, but it works. It fits fantastic. Uh, and so the new that I just recently got was actually the lights. I don't know. I just don't like them on my YouTube. I feel like it feels, I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you think I need to bring these out for my YouTube or should I just like leave it black? I don't know. I kind of like the black feature because it's kind of like an after dark series, but not really after dark series. But I don't know. I just, I don't, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. Cause we got, I mean, I got a bunch of colors and that's what I, oh, honey, that's red. But yeah, just let me know what you guys think. Uh, it's just not something that I really did think that I was going to be doing for this one. But it's definitely different once I go from the blue to off. But yeah, let me know what you guys think down below. And let's go ahead and jump on in and try out our other one. This one came with a cap as well. And all of them are so cool. Like, all of them come like with this little thing. Like a little cute like little peachy thing. What is up with all of them having this? Like this one. Like I wanted the actual like like skin color cap because I wanted it to be like a cone head you know I thought that would be kind of fun what is my dream vacation okay so that is very very simple my dream vacation I would freaking love to travel the world I would literally love to go everywhere I really wanted to go visit like Machu Picchu and stuff like that but if someone said like where would you want to go like literally like right now I want to go to Costa Rica that's always been my dream to go to Costa Rica, I want to stay in one of those gorgeous tree houses. I want to see monkeys. I want to see waterfalls. I want to do all that fun stuff down there. I want to try different foods. I just really want to dive into other people's cultures and learn so much about them. So Netflix shows. Ooh, okay. So Netflix shows. Um, I have been, I just finished Queen of the South. It was freaking amazing. I had no idea it was on a, the USA, like, original like, TV show. And holy crap, where have I been? Because I freaking love it. Um, the Society is another one that I love. I love The Elite as well. I, lo I like um, The Ranch. It's a good one. Um, I love Working Moms. That one was a freaking hoot. I freaking I love it. Obviously, Tiger King was a good one that I watched. Just all kinds of fun stuff. So, I don't know. Like, I'm sure there was like a bunch more that I'm like totally forgetting. Because honestly, like, I can't remember. How do you, how do you, how, how do people do these? How do you do this? I don't get it. This one's actually really, really pretty. It actually looks like my hair color now. It's supposed to be like a pink. I don't think it looked like it was like the picture that it showed. So let me guys know what you guys think about this one. Um, is this one better than the red one? Let's see, my favorite expansion pack. Ooh, I see you guys. So my favorite expansion pack obviously would have to be Seasons because I feel like that affects the whole freaking game. And I think Seasons is the one where you get like the, the calendar. And obviously that was one of the reasons why I really did want that because I love the calendar feature. Honestly, I feel like if it went away, like, I would be so, so sad about it because I love how you get to see birthdays and events that are coming up and holidays and I love that you get seasons, obviously. I love that there's a spring and a fall and a summer and a winter. I love everything about it. And then obviously Eco Lifestyle is a pretty good one too. I like how you can do stuff to change up your environment. I love dumpster diving. Oh my gosh, that's like a huge game changer for Rags to Riches. Okay, so my favorite color. Okay, so my favorite color is actually like teal. Just like this color right here. I love the color teal. Um, teal and pink have always been one of my favorites. Do I have any siblings? Yes, I do. I do have siblings. I have a two I have two older sisters. 
and I have a younger sister. Um, me and my younger sister are seven years apart. My oldest sister is on my dad's side. I don't know how old she is. We haven't really, we don't have like that close of a relationship. So I do ha I don't have any brothers. I don't know what it's like. And then my other sister that's older than me, she actually lived with my grandmother because my mom had her when she was young. So my grandmother kind of adopted her. So she lived with her and it was just like me and my younger sister that my mom raised. And then when I was 13 years old, I went and lived with my grandmother slash father. My grandmother actually pretty much raised me because my dad was, well, not really a, a father figure. What was your name if you was a boy? Ooh, okay, so my father really, really, really loves superheroes, Marvel superheroes, Marvel characters. Whatever you want to call him, he freaking loves them. He's obsessed with them. So he always said if I was going to be a boy, that I was going to be named Logan because he loves Wolverine. Wolverine is his favorite, and obviously Wolverine's name is Logan. So if I was going to be a boy, my name was going to be Logan. So very, very interesting from Jessica to Logan. And then my mom said that Jessica basically came from her best friend. Her best friend was named was Jessica or something. So she just named me after her best friend. Pretty legit. What do you want to achieve through your channel? Oh, okay. That is a deep question. What do I want to achieve through my channel? Um, I don't think I have really set out to have an achievement through my channel. I think I literally just, like I said, it was kind of like a hobby that I really did just wanted to do. I wanted to share my stories with you guys. I wanted to be a part of the community. Um, and if I could help people along the way, I thought that was another plus. Because I know there's probably other people that are just like me that have went through so many of my experiences. And um, if you don't know some of my experiences, I'm going to be sharing my experiences with you guys on my Dream House series. So if you're not already on there, definitely go watch those because it's going to be vamping up really quickly pretty soon like there's just gonna be a lot of stuff that's gonna be happening so definitely check out my dream house series because that's gonna be a great way to learn more about me a dog or a cat uh, I, I guess do I like dogs or cats or do I prefer one or the other so I am definitely 100% a dog person I don't like cats that much um, cats are good for killing mice that's a really good one I prefer dogs over cats Sorry, not sorry. And what was my first job? So my first job, I worked at Sonic. I was a car hop. Um, I also did work on the fountain. I did a bunch of stuff. I did expo. So yeah, so if I have any pictures, I'll definitely go up for you guys. I think I just have one picture of me back in the day. So did I attend college? I did attend college. I did graduate in 2013 with a degree in anthropology and a minor with archaeology and criminal justice. It's a bachelor's in arts, so that's what I did do. Obviously, it got me in nowhere because I'm doing something totally different with my life now, but I freaking love how much I've learned through, through anthropology. Because anthropology, you literally have to learn how to take yourself out of the equation and you have to like check your bias at the door. So that was a big help. I did not realize how much bias they have um, until I took anthropology and then like, that really helped me learn a lot about how we think and how we judge people by their looks or how they look or even their situation they're going through. So there was just a lot to learn through that. And I love, I loved learning about people's cultures. I love how people do stuff differently. That was very interesting to me. So that was one of the reasons why I did it. I wanted to do the Peace Corps was one of the big things that I wanted to do. I wanted to join that. I would love to go overseas and do some of the builds for other people. I think that would be one of the things that I really, really do want to do. One of the least favorite classes that I took was obviously the primates class. And if my professor ever sees this, I do apologize because he literally made it fun, but it was just not my thing. I did not like learning about primates. I did not learn. I, yeah, that was awful. One of the hardest ones was um, an osteology class that was freaking hard so my goal 
was obviously to do that and then I always thought like I could branch out and I wanted to do forensics anthropology where basically obviously if you've never seen bones it's kind of like what she does so what sports did I do so what sports did I do Ooh. okay so I did soccer I did softball holy crap I did track I tried out for or I was gonna try out for volleyball one year and decided not to I did do cheerleading for a while but I never did like do it on a team is that it is that is that literally it is, am, am I that boring probably did you do anything in college Ooh, I don't know like what you're referring to but yeah I joined a sorority in college I was in Delta Zeta I joined it because I wanted to give back I love that they had philanthropies that they did every chapter was different okay so that is that is that it for the 20 questions now I'm gonna take this off and we're gonna try on the blue one really really quickly and I'm gonna do the speed round Paula's questions that she actually asked um, Paula is on my discord channel she's also one of my sunshine squatters who does a lot of stuff with me with twitch with youtube so what did you guys think about that one the pretty pinky red one definitely let me know what you guys thought about it down below as well because i i would love to know what you guys think oh gosh it's literally the same color as my shirt almost i look like cotton candy i don't know why but it reminds me of like cotton candy what do you guys think write it down below right now go what do you think 1 to 10. Do you like it? Do you guys want me to wear it in a video? Do you guys want me to wear these in videos? I don't know. <laughs> I think they're kind of fun. But before we actually jump into our speed round, I did have one more question for our 20 questions and that was somebody wanted to know my PC specifics. Specifics? So I do have an Alienware. It is to be exact as an Alienware Aurora R6. My operating system is obviously Windows 10. My processor I have an Intel Core 17 slash 770 CPU at 3.60 gigahertz. Um, my graphics card that I have is a Nevada GeForce GTX 1070. All right so this is Paula's questions. This is her speed round really quickly. What inspired you to become a streamer or YouTuber? Literally, it was Ms. Lollipop Sims that inspired me to do this. She was literally talking about it one day and why she did it and everything else. And I don't know, it just really hit hit me inside. Like, I was like, dang, I, I could do this. Like, I could do this just because I want to connect with people. Um, I have been through a, a lot of stuff. Not as much as I would say as other people has, but I just feel like if I could help somebody else in their situation, like I want to do that and I want to connect with other people and I want to communicate with you guys. Like that's one of the reasons why I do this. Just make your day, even if I make, your, if I make you smile um, when you're watching my channel, if I make you guys laugh, then that's what I'm here for. Just to bring happiness, just to bring that ray of sunshine to you. There you go. That's why you guys are my sunshine squad. What do you enjoy the most from being one? Oh, so I think that's like the same thing. Um, I just love the communication. I love connecting with you guys. I love chatting with you guys. And that's one of the reasons why I did um, Twitch was because I wanted to have that more connection with you guys. I just didn't want to just be like, you know, a comment on a video here and there. I wanted to actually talk to you guys. I wanted to ask you how your day was and then get your all's communication back and talk to you guys. Just, I don't know, like that's really why I did it. Um, so if you don't know, go follow me on Twitch, be a Sunshine Squad member, you know, right here, Jessica Ray plays, go follow me, be part of the Sunshine Squad, rise and shine and be part of the Sunshine Squad. What's your favorite aspect of The Sims? I freaking love The Sims because you can tell your life, you can make stories, you <laughs> you can take your revenge on people that you don't like. I've done that many times. They have literally strived to be diverse. I do feel like they could be a lot more diverse in what they have. There's still definitely stuff that they need to improve upon, but I think that they're kind of getting there. Um, so it'll be definitely interesting to see what Sims 5 has for us, but you know, I think it's okay. How long have you played Sims? Any of them? Oh my gosh, how long have I played Sims? 
since The Sims number one, I have played it on the OG PlayStation, the one with the button on top that you like, literally have to push down and the thing goes meow. Then you put the CD in and you have to like hand close it back. That's your girl right here. I have played Sims Medieval. I did do with Sims on Xbox. Did not like it. I didn't, I didn't, I don't know, it just, it just didn't feel as good as the PC, um, so I, I actually got rid of it. Is there any other games you enjoy playing? Of course, of course, there's so many more games that I enjoy playing. I, I have played so many games. I really want to get a capture card for my computer so that I can do more video games, like actual, like, Xbox games. So I play, I've played Gears, I've played Halo. Red Dead Redemption, Fallout, Ark, I love Ark, I've played Tanks, Planet Zoo obviously is a good one, Zoo Tycoon, I love it as well, I've played Grand Theft Auto, I've played Fortnite, I've played a deer hunting game, I feel like I would play literally anything. How do you juggle being a content creator and mom plus having another job? It is literally a juggling act, you guys. Literally, um, you just gotta find that perfect balance. No sugarcoating here, it's hard. Um, very, very hard. Nighttime is the only time that I can do any of my videos. So they go to bed at 8.30. So literally at nine o'clock, I try to come on here and do some videos for you guys. That's why I do it do so, so late. That's why I, I do the Twitches so late. The Twitches <laughs> so late. Um, but that's why I do them. Well, they're on my phone. There's just so much that goes into it. Obviously, like you gotta make your people, you gotta get them ready, you gotta get the places ready. If you don't like the places that you have, you gotta find new places. So there is like a lot more that goes into it than what I thought. And especially when I first started, I was like, whoa, like this is a lot. Like there's a lot behind it that goes into it. Editing was something totally different. I've never edited a video in my life. So I'm all self-taught. If you guys have any questions, or want to know anything else definitely let me know in the comments down below and I will help you guys out there is a bunch of free apps to help you guys with my thumbnails I use Canva and I use GIMP and I use pixel I think is what it's called those have been a game changer as well and twitch I've learned so much stuff about twitch that I never thought I would knew YouTube has been a blessing literally watching other people do stuff that's been amazing literally that's how I've learned and then as for work work is hard to work around as well because I do do 12 hour shifts so I try to do it I, if I know I'm gonna go into work that week I try to do some videos ahead of time to get them on out and then have them scheduled to go on out so I do have some questions for you guys because obviously you guys got to know me so why do you guys come here what do you guys love about the channel obviously is one of them how is your all's day going that's my second question where are you guys from you don't have to tell me like specific like just tell me like your state so i would love to figure out like or you can even just say united states if you don't want to say like your state just say united states because i'd love to figure out like who's coming from where if do i have any people from overseas watching me um all kinds of fun stuff so definitely let me know what you guys let me know about your answers down below as well as for giveaways i was going to do one when i hit 900 but then i was like you know what let's do 999 when we hit 999 subscribers i am going to do a freaking fantastic humongous giveaway that's what i was going to aim for because that would be a big humongous milestone because obviously will be like one away from a thousand so 999 will be our next giveaway so if you are new to the channel make sure you do hit that subscribe button it does just help our little village to grow make sure you hit that bell and make sure you turn all notifications on so you can be part of the early squad so you can come in here and say hi i made it before anybody else does and make sure you give this video a big sweet thumbs up guys and i will see you guys in my next video which is saturday i love you also so much and i will see you then bye guys hey y'all it's jessica i hate my hands i don't know what to do with my hands yeah like i don't i don't i don't i don't understand it does it need to go back more it's shagalicious oh my god where am i at guys okay i guess this is it right is this it um, I like the shine to it. Oh, oh. Okay. Oh.
Ow, the bra, the bra, the boobies got my, ow, it's got my hair, the, ow. And on the inside, it really does look like a fancy bra. Oh, that's a lot of hair. Oh, hi, y'all. Hi, y'all. Oh, here. <laughs> shimmy, shimmy, shoko, ba. Coco, coco, ba. Coco, 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 what? <laughs> Dang, okay, baby, I'm gonna have to get some bangs because that looks cute. And it covers my big forehead. Hello, it is blue. And now it's blue. Oh, it's my big pop knot head. Look, look at that. Look, that's from my bun. Is that why? Is that why stuff's not working? It's because of my big pop knot bun.